Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today is the beginning of the Showdown Series promo, a promo that we have a lot of questions about because we don't exactly know what all is going to be a part of this thing. We know we're getting showed on SBCs. There's two on the loading screen. There are three different ones that are leaked, but maybe some icon SBCs, still some stuff with packs are going to be a part of this promo, even though we're unsure what kind of cards are going to be in packs, if any at all. Same thing with objectives. What's going to be happening? there. So what we're going to do today is look forward and look ahead to what this promo may look like with Road to the Final ending as well. Do we need to look at the market? Well, the answer is yes. We do need to look at the market because a lot of these cards kind of got low yesterday. Even some of the ones that are getting upgraded today as today is the day for the first Road to the Final upgrades. Guys like Barella, guys like Alaba, guys like Anthony Martial after yesterday's crazy game are going to be up in rating sometime today is the day EA said they're going to upgrade those so we have to look at those on the market because if the pro promo today is not that exciting which it kind of is hinting that it might not be we could see the market continue to rise especially on these latest promo cards live upgrading road to the final so we're going to look at that and of course with this being an SBC based showdown promo we have to look at SBC fodder for a potential investment for that rising later on this week as well and with some pack codes that EA dropped there's a lot going on right now with this game, as there always is, right? But we're going to break it all down and talk about it in the video today. If you're excited for the Showdown series, hit the thumbs up. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Also, just a quick note, this is going to be the last video for about a week, uh, most likely as I am headed off on a vacation with the family. Um, I haven't really taken a break since the start of the FIFA cycle this year, and it's honestly the perfect time to do so. So if you don't see much on the channel... That is why stay tuned on Twitter. I'll be posting a little bit more there. Link down below in the description. But without further ado, let's talk about the Showdown series promo and start with the leaks that we have. By the way, one of the SBCs on the loading screen is this one right here. And EA actually kind of teased some stats for us, right? So BIOS, I believe, has like 89 dribbling on the loading screen, and I think it's like 88 passing or something like that. So Sabios and Molina, I think this is almost guaranteed to be our SBC today because this game is tomorrow on Saturday and 88 passing, or sorry, 87 passing and 89 dribbling on the Sabios, 91 pace uh, on the Molina right back card. So a little bit better than the stats shown on this prediction, but I really think this is going to be our showdown SBC today, like I said, and I think the turnaround is going to be really fast with these SBCs because because if you think about it, uh, very rarely does EA put out SBCs that last for longer than uh, when the game is actually going to be played, especially if it's a live card. Like, I mean, we actually just have this right now going on in FIFA, which is a very rare occurrence. So I say that it almost never happens, but it's kind of happening right now. At the moment, we had the SBC for Diaby, right? And Diaby is actually getting an upgrade today, and his SBC is still out for those who have not done it. He is going to be getting a plus one upgrade because they moved on to the round of 16. They qualified after their win yesterday against Monaco. So that's a very rare occurrence. It does not happen often, but specifically with the showdown cards, that's why I believe these are going to be pretty fast paced. If we're getting daily showdown SBCs, which was one of the leaks at the beginning when Foot Sheriff was talking about this promo, um, you know, the games are going to be coming out one or two days after these SBCs are going to be released in game, which makes us think the turnaround time is going to be pretty fast. So especially for this SBC, which I really feel like, you know, we may only get one of these showdowns today. Maybe we'll get two. Maybe they'll kind of space them out um, over the days. Um, or maybe they'll put a couple on one single day. It just depends what games they choose. But with this being on the loading screen and the game being Saturday, I think this is going to be our SBC today. If that's all that we get today, I mean, it's going to be a pretty underwhelming day of content. And I think that's what people are kind of looking at right now with this promo and saying, Nate, it's going to be an L. I would be shocked if we didn't have anything else other than this, though. Now, there are some other leaks, and this one is kind of the biggest one at the moment. Veghorst and Harvey Elliott. Now, the problem is... Don't get excited to see this SBC very soon in FIFA because this is probably going to be an SBC that drops at the end of the promo, like next Thursday, because this game is not until March 5th all the way into next weekend. So I doubt this is going to be an SBC that we see very soon, probably going to be towards the end of the promo. But EA's got us excited here, or Foot Sheriff has us excited here with a 90 rated Veghorst and a 90 rated Harvey Elliott. We can only hope that the stats are going to be this good. 
um, on these two cards. Probably not going to be this good, but Beg Horse, of course, as we talked about yesterday, this is a card that so many people want to see based off of last year's showdown card. Hopefully, the like base uh, overall is like 88 or 89. I feel like that's where a lot of these showdowns will be. 88 to 89 overall, then maybe getting boosted to 90 or 91. So that was one of the leaks from yesterday. And the third and final one that we have right now for a showdown is Kolasinac versus Solar. I think this is going to be our SBC. Uh, either they double up today or this will be our SBC tomorrow on Saturday because this game is on Sunday, I believe, between Marseille and PSG. Kolasinac is interesting because his card can play center back in game and uh, that might be a really useful card for Lynx if you still have Payet. Maybe you have some of the other Marseille cards from like Winter Wild cards that were dropped in this game or maybe you're just running, you know, Atal and Taram right now and you need some League One Lynx. These two guys can provide both of that. Solaire, if those are the right stats or somewhere around there, he could be a pretty good card as well. But I think we were all hoping for something just a little bit better, right? And as we take a look and see these cars and as we look at these leagues, you know, it just kind of seems like we said, a little bit mid, but we're really going to have to reserve our judgment until we actually see the SBCs dropped in the game and just to see what all is a part of this promo because maybe there's stuff as a part of this promo that EA are not telling us yet that we're going to find out today that'll actually make it be a little bit exciting. So watch out for the Real Madrid SBC today. You know, you could watch out for some of your Real Madrid cards as well. Like, of course, we saw the Rodrigo dropped earlier in the week that made some of these lower tier cards like the Lucas Vasquez and the Carvajal. Some of your other cheaper Real Madrid players, uh, people are buying to link to the new Rodrigo and they're up in price a little bit. That could be some part of the market that you watch out for today. Maybe same thing with the Molina card. If his card uh, looks pretty good, like the Carvajal Hall was like 120, 130K, and now he's up towards the high 140s, I believe. Uh, for his card. So watch out for those links today. If the SBCs are good value, that's what it's going to come down to in this promo. If the uh, showdown SBCs are good value and if they're good stats, people are going to want to go out and do them. And you know, that's where the demand is going to be coming. But if they're not that good, if they're overpriced, if they're not that good stats or cards that people want to try out and use, it's going to be seen as an L, right? That's what we're going to be looking for the rest of this promo throughout this next week. Now, objectives. What is EA going to do in objectives? You know, sneaky suspicion here. Since we didn't get a road to the finals for a couple of those teams that are still in the competition, alive and well, especially for Champions League, right? Like AC Milan, we keep talking about that. Could EA drop some like lingering cards for road to the final and objectives? Maybe. We also have so many objectives available right now with all the future stars. Um, we have the Vanderbeek that's going to be expensive. Inspiring. Could they drop another flashback or a moments in here as a continuation of Road to the Final with those rewinds? Maybe. Could they drop a showdown in here? They could do that as well. So objectives, we don't have any leaks right now, but I'm assuming we'll get something in there this week. EA don't like to let that part of the game go, you know, without content as well. So I do think there will be potential there. And the other thing we have to talk about today is um, best of being in packs, are there going to be special cards in packs? And the, the thing that makes me a little bit interested in that is this pack code that was added yesterday. And a couple of these packs that are in here, you know, you may not bat in the eyes that you may be like, okay, these are just whatever, right? Um, you know, a one of two 80 plus player pick, which is interesting that a player pick is being added to the code because nine times out of 10, we don't see player picks in the code, right? They just drop and there's an 85 plus as well, but it says open now or save for later. And the way that this makes me think is maybe there's not a best of today because if they're saying open now or save for later, think about when we see that before. We see that in like other series promos where it's like, you know, team of the year warm up series or top warm-up series and you're kind of thinking EA is kind of thinking like hey we're going to put out these packs you can open them now if you want to because packs you know are there and you can open them or save it for later when there's other stuff in packs this makes it seem like if they're saying save for later there may not be a best of or any sort of other special cards um, replacing the road to the finals in packs today a couple other halftime packs as well this just smells like EA adding some packs for Halftime SBCs for these showdown games to try to keep us engaged uh, with what's going on in the content in FIFA. Maybe halftime SBCs for upcoming Champions League and Europa League games down the line as well. So just something to think about. There's some decent packs in here, by, by the way. 16 items, uh, a special version of a rare players pack with an additional four rare gold players. These are some decent SBCs, decent packs, with a lot of gold players in them. So it seems like with the packs that EA have added, they're trying to supply fodder. And I think they're doing that because 
they know that a lot of the SBCs, if they're doing daily player SBCs, that's going to require a lot of fodder. Uh, the 85 to 86 provisions pack, it contains four rare gold players, all in tradable, 85 to 86 rated. I mean, we were thinking about investing in 85s and 86s. I'm guessing EA is putting this pack out because there's going to be a lot of demand on those. And they're trying to not make those prices on the market go super high. Although I still believe that they will. Now, a couple other interesting packs here. A winter review and a premium winter review pack, which actually contain guaranteed players from the three most recent promos outside of Future Stars. Winter Wildcard, Centurions, and Honorable Mentions. These also contain icon player picks and some hero player picks. I would imagine these would still be store packs. So it's like EA is still trying to get us to open store packs during a promo where there might not be anything in packs. So that's very interesting to kind of think about and talk about. A lot of these are expiring. Actually, the whole entire store is going to be resetting today. The foundations pack, the pivot pack, um, all that stuff is going away today on Friday at the content drop. But watch out for one of the store packs. That could be something that EA try to sell some FIFA points on and, you know, get you to open while there's like actually no promo cards specifically in packs. Now, the last thing, speaking of, of best of in packs, and then we'll talk about investing in fodder and road to the final upgrades in a minute. Um, if they end up putting special cards in packs today. Now, we're talking about the potential of that being low, which I do believe it will be low, but let's say they go ahead and do it, right? Let's say there's a best of. How are those cards going to move on the market today? If there are cards re-released in packs, that will make some people try to open a few packs because you know they're going to put in some big name players, right? You know, from the most recent promos, maybe a guy like Zlatan gets in, you know, maybe some team of your honorable mentions start to get in here, maybe, you know, Vinny, you know, stuff like that. Those types of players could be a part of a best of re-release. I doubt they put actual team of the year players in, but for these team of the year honorable mentions, absolutely. Um, especially because they're inside of those like review packs and stuff. If there, if that does happen, you will see a big drop off right away because people will see that these cards are in packs and they will start to panic sell. And you will, you will see their prices drop because of one people panic selling, but also two, they'll be getting supplied. So you'll see the prices drop like crazy right away. But if it's a pretty quiet content day, you might actually have a really good opportunity to be trading and flipping some of these cards and um, making some good profit on them if they do get re-released in packs, uh, if that is the case, because you have a supply and also prices dropping. So people wanted to try them out at lower prices. So that's one thing to watch out if we see those best of cards in packs. Not likely, but there's still, I think, potential for that. Now, let's talk about fodder. We know this is an SBC promo with the showdowns, right? Dropping just about every single day. There's one other type of SBC that EA have said or, or that have leaked that they are going to be dropping in this game as well. And that is an icon SBC. Foot Sheriff quote tweeted a Romania tweet yesterday. FIFA Trading Romania said uh, that Drogba's World Cup version is going to be coming as an icon soon. And Foot Sheriff took this a step further and said that it's going to have a showdown aspect to it. Celebrate two club legends as Spurs take on Chelsea. The Chelsea one we have, Drogba, who do we think comes for Spurs? And of course, you think of probably Lineker would be like the best icon if there's going to be an icon as a part of this, um, unless they're going to do some other different player, um, you would think that an icon would be a part of an icon SBC. So maybe it's two separate icon SBCs or like we had with the Smalling last week, maybe it's like where the um, Phil Jones was inside of the Chris Smalling SBC, that sort of thing. So because of the drug leak, though, his prices are way down. He was like 730,000 coins, went all the way to 600. It's kind of coming back up, but his prices are going to stay a little bit lower until we actually see that SBC released, which to my knowledge, this would probably be released sometime this weekend because that's when that game, Chelsea versus Tottenham, is going to be happening. Uh, so just keep a close eye out for that as well. Don't exactly know when these SBCs are going to be dropping, but uh, you would think that it would have to be around the day or maybe a day before, you know, something around the time of the day when these games are going to be happening. So watch out for that. But with all of this coming out, fodder investing in the cards that people will be turning into the SBCs. Now, we mentioned it earlier. It all depends on the hype of the SBCs, and that is always true, right? Some of your fodder prices have actually gone down after yesterday, right? You've got 83s that are back down at 2K, 84s that are about 4.5, 4 4.6 thousand coins. Your 85s and your 86s maintain decent values. 
But again, if there's not a lot going on with packs today, people opening packs, lightning rounds, stuff in packs, you would imagine that fodder really has nowhere to go but just probably up, right? Unless they drop some sort of tradable pack in the store, which is something to always have to consider. A little bit of weekend league rewards that are maybe opened during the weekend, but also right now, People with seeing there's no special cards in packs will probably just start saving packs as well and not opening them until there's something out to open for. So I do believe fodder is going to be a watch today. And if we get a good SBC today or tomorrow or throughout this weekend, I do believe fodder at some point in the next week is going to have some nice rises. It just all depends on what SBCs are the best and which ones are good value. But definitely watch your 84s to 86s because that's where I feel like a lot of these showdown SBCs will be in that range. And I still think that informs would be a pretty good club stock as well. So a club stock for sure and a lot of this stuff, specifically like the 84 informs at discard price, Rajkovic, Emerson, Tavernier, um, even some of the 85s, right? 14,000 coins. That's that's decently cheap for an 85 inform. You know, 87 rated informs under 20K, I think are pretty solid too. The Mbappe SBC is going away though today. It literally is expiring today. So I think that might hurt some of your demand for 90s, 91s. Unless we have an Icon SBC later on this weekend, I would maybe stay away for those SBCs because you could see some of those prices drop with the Mbappe going away but the lower tier stuff this weekend is probably going to be the place to look now it's going to be hard to try to guess when the best time to buy is going to be um, because it all depends on the SBC content and if EA do drop any sort of tradable supply on this game but uh, definitely watch out for the 84 to 86 realm and the informs I think that's going to be the best place on the market at least for right now so watch those prices this weekend for potential rises now the other biggest thing that is going on in this game today, Road to the Final Upgrades and Road to the Final Cards. I'm going to spend a little bit of time talking about these because these guys are getting upgraded today. We're getting the first upgrades, guys who are due for the upgrades based off of their win or based off of their um, advancement into the next round for specifically Conference League and Europa League. They're getting upgrades today, right? Barella, 370,000 coins at the moment. You look at the card in the game, win the first knockout game, they won, right? They won 1-0 with the Lukaku goal. So this Barella is getting upgraded today. Now, when is EA going to upgrade these? What they've done in previous times is they have upgraded these cards at midnight, Friday night heading into Saturday. That was the consistent upgrade time last year, most often consistent upgrade time. And even earlier this year with Road to the Knockouts, that's when they upgraded these cards. So keep a close eye out for later tonight. Now, sometimes EA change it up, right? And they might do that. They might upgrade these cards right at content today. They could upgrade them at some other random time during the day today. So just watch out. But at some point today, right? It says on EA's website, the 24th of February, and that is today. That's when we're going to get these upgrades. So sometime today, that's going to happen uh, for all these cards that are deserving for a Champions League card that won their first match after the campaign was released, or for Europa League and Conference League cards that qualified for the round of 16. Wait, they're saying these are Road to the Final Rewinds, Van de Beek, Fernando Torres, and Spinazzola. Man, that's such a bummer, bro. I can't lie. There was so much potential for Road to the Final Rewinds, and there's really just not a lot going on there. But anyways, um, the biggest thing with these cards is, are they going to go up even further after the upgrade, or are they going to go down with people thinking they're going to go up, and then they don't, and then people start selling because they were expecting it to go up, but they wanted to get their coins out of the investment, stuff like that. I feel like for most of these cards, they will probably stay the same or just slowly start to gradually go up in price with them being out of packs. And here's my take. I am basically broke. You see me have 100,000 coins in this game right now in my foot club. I'm basically broke, and I'm fully invested in so many of these Road to the Final cards because if we're not having promo cards in packs this weekend, these cards are live, some of them getting upgrades. These are the cards that people will want to be using as the latest and greatest cards in FIFA to try them out, put them in their teams, invest for the potential upgrades and stuff like that. So I like these cards. I think there's a lot of potential. Some of them have already started to rise. Miranda's 39,000 coins, right? I think there's a lot of potential with these cards to rise over the next couple of weeks, especially this week if the promo is not that amazing. So keep a close eye on these today. If there are cards that drop 
with upgrades, which I think if there's going to be any of them that do drop with upgrades, I hate to say it because I really believe in this Atal card, one of the most popular cards in this promo team, also one of the most invested in cards. He's getting an upgrade today, right? They didn't even play a game, but he's already qualified because they were one of those seeded teams, as it's called. Um, in the conference league, they got the bye to the round of 16 without having to play the playoff games, which were happening these past two weeks. So he's going to be an 88 rated, uh, unless EA go crazy and give him a plus two for the plus one inform upgrade with the new inform system that they have. Uh, but I'm holding strong, right? Because I think more of the long game here is what we're playing over the next week, especially with this promo, the next two weeks, maybe. I still believe a lot in these cards. I really do. So if there's panic selling today, maybe you pick up on that opportunity and say, hey, people are selling this at all because it's not going up and it got the upgrade. But I'm going to just go and buy more because I feel like this card can still go up further, right? Definitely watch out for those types of situations um, on the market today with these live cards in this game especially the lower tier ones like a tall maybe raspadori he could be over invested maybe felipe anderson could be over invested i even have a couple of those co these cards that i'm mentioning here i believe they are going to go up but i think we're just going to have to have some patience right so if you see panic selling that could be just a great opportunity to buy more of those today and then like i bought an alibi yesterday in the low 1.2s hoping that he can continue to rise up going to 90 rated um and hopefully ea gives some nice stat boosts plus ones hopefully a couple plus two in some specific stat categories to make these cards just look a little bit better today on this game so watch out for those cards moving around today even early on today with the europa league and the conference league having their round of this uh, round of 16 draw uh, some of these guys like, I don't know, Chiesa, right? Chiesa uh, is, is due an upgrade. He is going to be going from an 88 rated card all the way to an 89 today with some stat upgrades in there. But at the same time, if Juve were to draw, let's say, Arsenal in their round of 16 draw, then his card price would probably drop. And that draw is happening earlier today. I think it's like, like noon or 11 a.m. UK time. Don't quote me on that. Check the Europa League or Conference League website if you want some more information on that. We're just keep a watch on Twitter too, because there's going to be a lot of news floating around with these cards specifically before they maybe even get their upgrades today. Um, they will be knowing who they're going to face the next round. If they have a tough matchup or maybe a more favorable matchup that could of course influence their price, a tough matchup, making them go down a easier matchup, making them go up as people believe, Oh, the next upgrade is going to be locked in. So keep a close eye on Europa league and the few conference league cards that we have, because that's where you'll see the biggest movement early today on this game yesterday was a really good day to trade road to the finals i bought martial twice flipped him twice in the manchester united comeback i flipped chiesa for like literally no profit and then he went up like 50k more uh felipe anderson and just got some of those cards out it was a really really good day to trade yesterday and then the rest of my transfers right now is just stocked up with mostly road to the finals and a couple of informs guys like i'm waiting for these upgrades today and not just planning on selling today i'm waiting and hoping to hold on for a while to uh, have the best opportunity to get some price uh, increases in the next uh, week or so. So last thing in this video, we're going to end with a little pack. And 83 times 10, I wanted to open it. Yes, this is exactly what I wanted. Spanish left back. Okay, I got one, man. I'll take it. I wanted to get a live card, and I got one. And that's getting an upgrade today, too. Hopefully, he gets a double upgrade uh, because he's 86 rated. We would love a plus two. I'll take that, man. I was hoping for even uh, Ferran Torres, who's not live anymore at 65K. Uh, that's a really, really cheap card, by the way. Ferran Torres is going to hit a low point this weekend. Let's just talk about this for a quick second. This is a, I mean, it's not a great investment, but in the grand scheme of things, a 65,000 coin special card of Ferran Torres with the Barcelona links. I mean, this is going to rise. It's going to take a couple weeks, but he is going to go from this low point here. Somewhere around like 50 to 60K is going to be his low point. And then he is going to slowly rise over the next couple of weeks. It's the only special card that he has. 90 pace, 90 dribble. That is a card that so many people on the casual side of this game will want to use. So watch out for that. But he is no longer getting upgrades. Uh, Ferran Torres and Valand are the only two that are technically uh, no longer upgrading at the moment. You would say Firmino is probably in there as well. But you never know, right? There's still a second leg to play. But I'll take a Miranda. Miranda and... Um, 
Lamella were the only live cards I packed in this promo. I did the Diaby SPC as well, so I'm a little bit bummed that I didn't pack anything else. But I'll at least take those two cards right there. And uh, maybe a, a last minute um, 81 double SBC today will allow me to pack one more, but I'm not expecting too much from that. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. Hopefully the showdown series brings us some really cool cards and hopefully it's just a good week to have some fun on this game in different ways with some cool new cards to try out. Guys that don't normally get promos, right? So far with the leaks that we have, that's a positive. We're, these are not normal promo cards or players that get promo cards that we usually see. So that is definitely a positive heading into this promo. But we'll see if EA can crank up the heat and turn up the hype a little bit with the Showdown series. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Out.